All right, guys. So I'm here with the mighty Ian Livingstone. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So just have a little chat about what you are going to be doing here over the weekend at the UK Games Expo. So obviously you're going to be doing a little bit of signing and stuff like that, uh, looking through a lot of their fi uh, fighting fantasy books, of course, and things. But uh, sort of what else are you going to be doing here? So. Well, I'm a, a board games fan myself. I've got over a thousand board games at home. I'm always looking to see new games I um, think that uh, should be in my collection. But of course, my heart is uh, very much involved in fighting fantasy. So it's the 35th anniversary this year. Uh, Scholastic have just picked up the worldwide rights and I've written a new book called The Port of Peril to celebrate the relaunch in August. So I'm here really to enjoy myself, first and foremost as a, as a board games fan, to talk about fighting fantasy, my, uh, a talk I'm giving uh, on this afternoon and to do lots of signings and, and meet the fans and uh, it's just great to see that Fighting Fantasy has survived the test of time and it's as much love today as it ever was. Yeah, I picked up a couple of the, the books, um, sort of re-engaging with my love of Fighting Fantasy a couple of years, well, I think it was about last year, and it was just absolutely fantastic going back through them, playing through the adventures, trying to remember all the, the puzzles and things like that as we were going through, but it was really, really great fun. Talking of board games and stuff, is there anything you've particularly got your eye out for or are you just going to try and sort of mosey around and see what you see? So. I'm going to try and take the, the wisdom of the crowds and see the of the crowds, yeah. see what people say. I'm actually having dinner with Tom Vassell tonight. From, oh wow, fantastic! From Dice Tower, so I'm going to lean on him for a lot of uh, yeah, yeah. a lot if, of inside if, information. If you're going to lean on anybody, I think leaning on Tom Vassell is a pretty good way to learn a little bit more about board games stuff. Are there any um, board games that you're playing at the moment that you're particularly interested in and stuff? Well, I've been running a board games group for over 30 years now, basically with the same people: Steve Jackson, uh, obviously Games Workshop co-founder and, and Fighting Fantasy co-author. Uh, Peter Molyneux, video games designer and others. And I keep uh, a record of every game played and we, I send out a newsletter. I think we're up to issue 457 of the Games Night newsletter. And at the end of the year, we do a points tally and we, we're awarded the cup. And I'm current champion and I'm winning this year. Yeah, I'm delighted. <laughs> Fantastic. So um, we're looking to you know, get new games to, to play. But what we are having playing recently, I guess, is the, what everybody plays, Small World and Kalis and uh, what else do we like a lot? Um, uh, what did we play last time? We sometimes go back to old classics like Acquire and um, yeah. Warlord. Acquire is an interesting one actually. It was one of the games we picked up actually last year here at the UK Games Expo. Yeah. Just sort of stumbled it on one of the booths and things. And it was one of those games which was a really interesting um, sort of look at that sort of stock taking and sort of, yeah. but it wasn't, didn't feel too heavy, yeah. but it had a quite a nice classic design to it as well. So it's a game that I would recommend actually Acquire. It was designed by uh, Sid Saxon, one of the best games designers ever. He lived, he's, he sadly passed away a number of years ago and um, I visited him a few times in the Bronx. And um, his house, he told me, was burgled five times. Right. And they didn't touch one game, and every room was floor to ceiling of, of games. He had something like 15,000 games in his house. He was an incredible character. So there you go, guys. A little chat with Ian Livingstone there about what to look forward to over the weekend from him. He's going to be doing his signings, so if you're a big Fighting Fantasy fan, come on over, check out the books, talk to Ian, learn a little bit about more about you know, what you've been doing over the last couple of years. And of course, obviously, there's the seminar and stuff later as well. I'm really interested to learn a little bit more about your top 10 board games and things like that, so it'll be fantastic. <laughs> Can you give us a little bit of a sneak peek at maybe what might be in that top 10? Maybe? Well, I think I've just mentioned one or two oh, of them. You have, I suppose, actually. So let's try and we can work those into the top 10. And then, of course, you can look ahead to see what else is happening throughout the rest of the day and across the rest of the weekend. So thank you very much, Ian. That was thank great. you.